Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Keystone Passport Rove 173RB. It's a nice rear bath, teardrop shaped travel trailer, and it has a big bathroom. So if you're looking for a nice dry bath in a teardrop, then this is one you certainly want to pay attention to. We'll start off right over here on the door side. And one of the things I love about this setup and this floor plan is it allows for a dinette right here on the campsite, which gives you this big, beautiful window and a view out to your campsite. This is the view you want. You want to look out to your campsite, not staring out at your neighbors. So when you're having your breakfast, or your morning cup of coffee, again, you're getting the view that you want. You'll see beautiful cabinets up top here. They went with a uh, two-tone wood, which I, I kind of like that look. And it's also curved cabinet fronts, which is really neat. Again, helps uh, kind of set it apart from a lot of other models out there. You see the hidden hinges too, so that way it's a very clean look. And you have storage behind all three doors there. Right underneath, you have an LED light. You have LED lights throughout this, this entire RV, and there's a lot of them, folks. It is nice and bright in here. You can see, you know, you have two rows on the ceiling. Most manufacturers will only put one row in here, so it is a, a nice, bright feeling even at night, which is great. Speakers in here as well. Those are controlled by this little unit right here. Uh, this unit is Bluetooth capable as well, so if you need to hook up a smartphone or tablet, you can do that. Right over next to that is your TV. You'll notice this is on a swing arm mount. So currently, if you're, you can watch it if laying in bed, you can always swing that around so you can watch it in the dinette or if you're standing in the kitchen. You'll notice windows all the way around the uh, queen size bed there. Nice big windows, again, letting in all that natural light, LED light there. Plenty of sleeping space. Right underneath, you'll notice you have an electrical outlet down there. So if you do need to plug anything in, whether it's a you know, cell phone, a CPAP machine, something like that, you have a place in which you can do that. Right over here is this slide out. So this makes uh, this makes it nice and open, really helps open this space up. You notice you have a convection microwave oven, which I think is a great option here. It gives you a two in one, this acts as your oven and as your microwave. And honestly, it, the convection cooks faster than your standard oven, it's easier to clean. And because you have the two in one, it allows for more storage underneath. Right beneath that, you have the Norcold fridge freezer combo. You have a nice little uh, drop-down freezer right there. Uh, super simple controls. You'll see those right on front, so it is nice and easy to set. If you take a look at the countertop, you'll see you have great countertop space here as well. You have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover, so this is great usable prep space. When you fold it up, it acts as a backsplash. That way it's nice and easy to clean there too. And I like the fact that with the horizontal orientation rather than vertical, it just makes it a lot easier to use. Plus you have all this space back here, which is great if you want to put a toaster back there, a coffee maker. You see you have an electrical outlet tucked right up over here. Stainless steel single bowl sink, it's all you really need, especially in a camper this size. High rise faucet there. And again, you have the nice curved door with the storage up top. If we take a look down below here, Underneath the sink, you'll see you have some storage underneath there, so you might be able to sneak uh, some pots and pans in there. Nothing huge, but it does give you some storage. Uh, you'll also see you have a full extension drawer right here for your silverware, and you'll probably have to put some other larger utensils in here like knives, spatulas, things like that. Additional electrical outlet right over here. It is worth mentioning that you have storage underneath both sides of the dinette too. Both of these two uh, lift up with the storage there. So, you know, for items you don't have to get to nearly as often, that is a good extra spot to put them there. Making our way back a little bit further, we can take a look at the bathroom right here. So this is one of the, the best parts about this RV. You don't get this very often in a teardrop shape and you have a nice large rear bath like this. You see the foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around there. Over in the corner, you have your sink top and vanity, electrical outlet with some storage underneath. And then you have the shower right here in the corner. Now, bear in mind, even though this is a nice dry bath, which again, you, as I mentioned, don't often get in this, uh, this size RV, it is a little bit shorter. So if you are really tall, you're probably going to have to bend down. Uh, I'm about six foot and I pretty much touch the ceiling. So uh, just kind of, you know, uh, pay attention to that as well and just bear that in mind. Right out here to the side, you see this is your main wardrobe. As you noticed up by the bed, we didn't really have one, so this kind of acts as where you'll hang your clothes, or you know, if you just have folded clothes, that can just be a coat closet if you want. 
Directly underneath that, you have a pull-out drawer, and then your furnace is below that. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Rove 173RB. Starting off right up front, it gives you a power tongue jack. This is a great feature to have. It's super simple this way to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. That way you're not wearing out your arm cranking it up and down. Simply flip a switch here, that will raise and lower the tongue. Also, you'll notice there's a light right here. So if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you can flip that on for a little extra visibility at night. Directly behind that, you have a 20 pound propane tank with the cover. Simply unscrew this thumb screw right here, lift up the door, that will give you access to the tank. Behind that, you will see rails here for your battery box, and mounted directly underneath that is the spare tire. Coming up the front, you have some uh, extra protection here. Not quite diamond plating, it's more of like a hatchwork, but it does, serves the same purpose. Any kind of rocks or anything that get, get thrown up by your tow vehicle, hopefully it hits this right here so it doesn't damage the fiberglass on the front end. Speaking of fiberglass, one of the great things about most of your teardrop shapes uh, travel trailers is that it is a one-piece fiberglass construction from the front all the way up on the roof and down the back. The big advantage of that is for water. The number one place that you get any kind of leaks in an RV is in the roof and the main reason it happens is because you have holes or seams that aren't sealed. So be, without having the seams going across this way, you have less chance of water getting in there. Plus, because the natural curvature of the roof, water wants to run to the front and back, which is why you don't have any side gutters on here. Not only does that help keep the uh, campsite cleaner, but again, the, when the water is running over, you don't have as many seams for the water to sneak its way into. You also see you have a big front window on there. Uh, that helps bring a lot of natural light into that front bed that I had showed you, which is really cool. And this is something that's new too. They just started this year, kind of 2018.5, so the fall model 2018 with Keystone. They have gone to a three year structural warranty. So that definitely is a great peace of mind when buying a Keystone product. Coming around to the side here, we'll look at the pass through. Nice big door on this side. You can see how wide it is here. You also have a magnet, so it just stays up there nice and easily. If you pop your head in there, you can kind of see it does narrow down a little bit, but at least the front is pretty big. So if you have, uh, you know, like longer pieces of wood you have to fit in there, or if you have a grill, something like that, you have a spot in which you can put it. Otherwise, you do have the rest of the pass through for some of your longer items. Right over here, you have an electrical outlet. You need to plug some stuff in when you're outside. That is the place to do it. If you take a look up top, you see right here you have uh, two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center I had showed you inside, but as I had previously mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. You also see the Thule awning on here. This is a pretty nice awning, rolls out nice and easy. It has arms that come down. The arms will attach right here. You have those on both sides. You also have an LED light strip there too. So if you do want light at night, you can simply flip the switch. You don't have to hang up your Christmas lights unless you really want to. Aluminum alloy rims on there, which not only look great, but they also won't rust out on you. So that way they'll stay looking nice for a longer period of time. Getting into the coach is super simple. One fold out step, but you know, this is a low profile coach. It's lightweight. It's meant to be towed by a, a smaller tow vehicle. So they try to keep it as low to the ground as they can. So you have less wind resistance while towing. So as you see, one step is all you need. And also you have a large foldable grab handle right here, which does aid you in entering or exiting the Rove. If you like to grill outside, you'll also notice the Rove is equipped with a propane quick connect. That way you can just simply hook your grill up and you can feed off your 20 pound bottle instead of having to bring the small separate green ones. As you make your way around the back, you can see the one piece fiberglass here coming down the back side. You'll also notice that you have a hitch that comes from the manufacturer. 150 pound tongue weight on there, so if you want to hook up a bike rack, you can certainly do that. The nice thing about that, folks, is because it becomes prefab from the manufacturer, it doesn't void out your warranty. A lot of people don't realize this, but if you do have one installed aftermarket, a lot of times that will void that warranty. So definitely a nice feature. Black tank flush right over here. This is great as well. Instead of having to uh, bring your hose inside and into the bathroom and sticking it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, you simply hook it up right here. A black tank has sprayers built into it and it will wash it out for you. Then underneath that is the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Right underneath here, you will see your black tank termination. The gray is up front. We'll see that in just a second. 
you'll see that you have detachable 30 amp power cord that plugs in right there. Your cable inlet is there as well. If we make our way around to the front here, this is your gray tank termination. And then you'll see right down under here, because this one does not have a bumper, that is uh, where your sewer hose will be stored. That way you don't have to stick it in with your, uh, in your pass through with everything else. Then your water connections are right up here. You have your tank fill as well as your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018.5 Keystone Passport Rove 173RB. If you're interested in this RV, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.